Is it on? Is it on? I don't know. Hello everyone! I am Sabrina and welcome to my channel. So, here I am to do another video. It's been a while since my last one. In particular, my last little yarny chat and different things. So, I'm super excited to be here and I have missed doing this kind of videos and here I am. So I hope you will join me and have a good time. I am ready. I've got my lovely coffee mug. Here we are. Mm. And look, I've just realized but that complements what I'm wearing. Same color almost. This is a little bit darker to this. But I think it's very complimenting and you know, Stella, I love it. I love it so much. So thank you. I really do enjoy it on a daily basis. And every video that I will do, like a yarny chat, this will accompany me every time. <laughs> so yeah, I also have my trusted long list of things to discuss. Ta -da. <laughs> There's a lot of nonsense, there's some yarny things, and hopefully some fun, who knows. Mm. I just had a sip there, I mean it's nice, but you know what? <laughs> I did it a bit too hot. <laughs> have I gone red in the face? I don't know. I know I have a red nose because it's a it's really cold and humid day and I've just come back in the house and um, so I got a red nose for that and what else was I gonna say oh when the weather is horrendous like that um, so look at my hair this is completely messy I don't know I can't do anything with that because I was wearing a hat so that's just zero. It was nice this morning before I left the house. Then I had to go out, do some shopping. And now I'm back in and oh, look at that. What's happened? I don't know. But now look at this. I have straight hair. But when it rains, I want to show you this. When it rains, my hair becomes like this. What's happened here? It's all wavy, almost curly. You see? Look at that. That just happens naturally, guys. Naturally. It just curls like that. Huh? I'm not complaining, but this is a bit strange, isn't it? It's, it's straight. Uh, and then it gets a little bit wet. And... And that happens. It, it does happen naturally though. So, no, well, this is how it is. <laughs> now, um, I can report that when I went back to work on Wednesday, there were no crazy customers. Everyone was good. I had a good time and I was a little bit wary, wondering if she would come in. But luckily for me, she hasn't turned up. So, oh good, oh good, oh good. I'm super happy about it. So, um, but I did buy something last week. I was going to show you, but I completely forgot. So, there's a story with that. So, I will share this with you now. There's a cousin of mine back home in France. And he has a very big garden. He is a very keen gardener. But there are some little visitors that he gets sometimes that uh, give him quite a nightmare. So I don't know if a lot of um, uh, keen gardeners will be able to relate to that. But he has some moles that appear from time to time. And he shows me his garden and little bits of uh, mole uh, hills will appear everywhere on his lawn. 
and it bothers him terribly, terribly. And uh, sometimes he will show me pictures of him capturing a mole. So he will capture it. It's alive. He's very happy to show me. He's showing me some videos. And they're just looking up. Aren't they pretty? They are so beautiful. I just love their faces, the way they look up and just... Oh, they're adorable. But anyway, he says, yes, they're adorable, but a nuisance. So he captures them alive, and then he will put them in the box. He will drive maybe 10, 15 kilometers and release them in, in a, a field. That's what he does. So at least they are staying alive, right? So anyway, I was in a shop last week. And, and I saw something. And this is my sense of humor. <laughs> when I saw it, I immediately thought of him and thought, oh, I gotta send it as a surprise, you know, with a little note. Uh, like a humoristic note with it, you know. And so I, I will show you now. I left it on the table, so I would have to get up. And get it. One second. So I am not too sure what to call him or her, but look at what I got. Ta da! Hey guys! Hello! <laughs> Isn't it cute? Now, this one can stay forever with my cousin, right? Can't get rid of this one. Can't do it. I mean, I can't even part with that. Who would want to? I want to stay. I want him to stay with me. And I've got a name. I'm going to name him. And don't ask me why. It just came to me just now. I'm going to name him. It's a boy. Caster. Caster the mole. What do you think? Yeah, what do you think? Yes, I like it. There you are, see? We have approval. <laughs> oh, I just love him. So I'm going to send him to my cousin. And we will see how he reacts. That should be fun, right? Okay, I am back. And I'm just putting some cream on my hands because... They feel very dry at the moment, and I know I'm not supposed to advertise anything, <laughs> but this is what I'm using, so I'm not advertising. Shh. This is it. Quick as a flash. You didn't see that, did you? But it does smell really nice, and I just really like it. It's good for my hands, and oh yeah, it's re it smells really, really good. And I like to use it, especially when I do some crochet and knitting. That way, it also leaves a nice fragrance on, on the garment. And it's nice but natural. So, and that's good. Okay, so I have quite a few things to discuss today. And uh, what am I going to start with? Um... Um, I don't know. I just realized I need to pause because I haven't got a clue what to uh, continue with. Okay, I was just enjoying a little sip of coffee. It's just so nice. So when I went to work on Wednesday, uh, I have lovely colleagues, by the way. They are amazing. But there is one colleague which I enjoy a lot and... Um, He's been more or less all around the world and uh, lots of different travels and whatever. And I'm always enjoying hearing about them. And uh, when I was there at work, this is just to uh, have, tell you a little story here. Uh, there was a toy tarantula in the shop about this big. You know, the type that you uh, can... Uh, Control with a remote control, and it kind of just crawls around, you know, about this big. 
and he was telling me, Sabrina, I need to tell you a story about my travels to Mexico. And I thought, oh, no, please don't tell me that there were bigger spiders than this. And he said, yeah. He said, there were. And so the way he described it, because I don't remember the name of the place he went to, in one ear, not the other, because it's a, a confusing name, difficult name, or I don't know. And anyway, so he was saying that as soon as you crossed the road, it became like the Amazon forest. It sounds kind of lovely, you know. Amazon forest and he was saying everyone including him were too scared to cross like a, a like a a bridge or a road I don't remember and because surrounding them were them ginormous spiders this big <laughs> oh I could feel my flesh you know with a lot of goosebumps and then my stomach was going crazy because I'm a proper arachnophobic. I had a horrendous experience when I was a child with spiders, uh, tropical spiders. And um, from then on, I've just been completely, completely uh, terrified of uh, spiders, either they are this big or this big, it doesn't matter. Spiders are spiders and not just spiders, the spider webs also. Why the spider web? Because spiders could be in them. And so anyway, he was talking to me about his journey and the them huge spiders everywhere and his experience of sleeping in his hut at night and looking at the ceiling and <laughs> it's just not my thing now just to think about it just makes my skin crawl and just da -da -da. <sighs> oh anyway talking of mexico <laughs> i do not watch a lot of people on youtube but there is one person I, I do watch on a regular basis and um, at the moment they are on a journey in Mexico enjoying a wonderful holiday and buying different interesting and lovely looking yarns and doing different things and I just really love their channel, really do Every time there's a notification coming up, I'm, ooh, let's go to that and watch it. So um, that person did a huge shout out about me and I was overwhelmed and really moved and touched by it. It was such, such lovely words and, you know, um, it felt really heartfelt, you know, that it wasn't just words. It felt like it was well meant and really heartfelt, you know. So um, I'm going to ask their permission. <laughs> I'm sure I will get it. But I would like to make a big shout out about that channel because it's a really good channel. And every time I watch the videos, I, I feel entertained. Uh, it's fun, entertaining, interesting, exciting. And I post comments on every single video, except one. And I will let them know why. But without giving uh, too much away, that particular video really moved me it moved me more than I can possibly describe and I've been in tears over that for a few days because there were very private things that I could completely relate to and I was moved 
So uh, after that, I think I'm saying too much already, but I don't care. It's okay. At least they will know, right? Kind of. I've been shopping online for some very yummy and special yarn for them and hopefully I will be able to send it out to that person. I um, think they will enjoy it. Yeah, it is carefully chosen and uh, there we are. And yeah, so what can I say? I just completely adore that person and uh, their channel. So hopefully, fingers crossed, I will get the go ahead and I will be able to put down here the channel links and things like that. <laughs> mm -hmm. I've had a really few stressful days with my computer and the internet. Uh, so the computer, uh, the what is it called now? Uh, so of course I have firewall that works, but the antivirus decided to not work anymore, and I've had to look for one online. Found one, but uh, I've installed it, and since then. The computer is even slower than before. It just drives me completely bananas. I mean, instead of an hour and a half to get ready, you know, switch the computer on, and it, all you hear is my processor doing the uh, endlessly, normally for an hour and a half. But this time, it takes almost three hours. <laughs> And then when it's finally ready, I'll open some program, and off it goes. <laughs> oh, for ages, until it's ready, it just drives me completely, oh, you know, crazy. And then the weather's been so mad that the internet's been on and off for, oh, anyway, whew. It seems okay now. I'm doing a video and it's all good. <laughs> and so, um, oh, oh, I've been shopping today and I've been inspired instantly, just like so. And I will show you why. As I was looking for pens for my son for school, he needed some pens. What else? A ruler and what was the other thing? Pens, ruler, and I don't remember. Anyway, I after that section, I went into uh, looking at some other stuff for crafts, and uh, and I found something. So it is a make your own bear kit. Um, this is the first that I see like that. I mean, I've seen other make your own bear kits, and usually you would have the material and some stuffing in there, like a little bow, like a little bag of the stuffing that you will use to make the teddy bear. But this time, I found it slightly different, so I will show you. So this, this is the kit that I bought, and it was only three pounds, so I got it. There we are. Look at that. Ages 4 plus. I don't know if they mean if the child can do it. I don't think so. I think it will be for when it's done. But anyway, I thought I want to have a go because I don't know how to sew, so I'm not going to sew it. But I will show you what I will use. Put it down there. Okay, so here is <laughs> a four year old can definitely do that. A four year old can, yes. You know why? Because look at that. Here is the body, it's already made. <laughs> definitely. 
their four-year-old can do that. However, how do you open it? How do you put the things inside? I don't know. This, oh, jeez. Oh, it's Velcroed. The back is Velcroed. Here. And then you open it up. Oh, I see. And then you put the things inside. Oh, right. Okay. I get it now. But anyway, I will not be using this bit. This bit, I will just keep it as a little little puppet or something. Let's see. What shall we name him? Hey, guys. How are you doing? Yes, I've escaped the uh, Amazon forest. And I'm here now. <laughs> anyway, I will not be using that. But I got uh, inspiration immediately when I saw those. So those are the body parts. Like this. I've never seen those like that before. Where they are already... Well, they're ready to go, right? They're ready to use. Normally you make your teddy. And then you stuff it after. But this... This is quite good. So there's that. So I think... Not too sure which part is which part. Are those the hands and are those the legs? Dropped it now. And there's the head. So what I'm going to do is... <laughs> I can't say when I will do that. But sometime in the, ne in the, uh, in the near future. I will do like a, a crochet bear tutorial and those I will use to just insert inside the crochet pieces so hopefully we will be able to uh, come up with something cute here's the head and the body so I think it is a nice idea let me know in the description box below what your thoughts are and and maybe then I can make some clothes for it. And also, I went to boys and I got some yarn. So I will show you what I will make the teddy bear out of. I have chosen two colors. This one for most of the body. It is a number three in the US of A. And here is just a regular DK, Starcraft Special DK. And the other color is this one. Is there a color with that? This is called Mocha. Look at that. And the other one is called Gold. And here it is. Gold. So, like I said, I don't know when I'll be doing those, but uh, this. But I'm excited about it, and uh, I'm thinking of different um, uh, interesting stitches I could use, you know, to make it a little bit different and uh, stick out and give you the wow factor that this is the kind of thing I need to have in my life and I need to make immediately so <laughs> yeah so um, I will pause and I will be right back so I'm getting back to tutorials I realize that I'm really behind on my tutorials I still need to do my uh, brioche knit tutorial and the, this blanket tutorial. I promise they will be done soon. I promise. But in the meantime, I've got a tutorial in progress. And I am designing as I go right now, like a um, lady's cardigan. And um, well, I guess you could do it for guys too. You would just have to uh, do the buttons on the other side rather than, you know, for the ladies. 
and I think quite versatile because it's a cardigan but if you wanted to make it a jacket you would just have to add a few more chains but anyway I've almost done the back which is the first piece that you will do and so far it measures 21 inches so I've got another three inches to do and the back is done then I can start on the front and um, I think it will be a lovely one. The yarn I am using is Woolcraft Aran. So in America this would be like your regular number four weight yarn. This is it here, Woolcraft Aran knitting yarn. But of course I am doing crochet. <laughs> And um, well, so normally for that you would use a five millimeter needle and crochet hook, and this is what I am using as well. But uh, yeah, I will show you my work so far, and hopefully you will like it. So this is it here, and I've got another three inches to go. So it is like so, and you will notice that there is a stitch marker here at the front. This is to indicate that this is the right side. There we are. So the ribbing section and then the body. There, I'll try and come a little bit up close. This is how it looks. It's a very lovely stitch and lots of... Um, uh, texture and it's quite lovely and the idea is that it's not too thick but lovely to wear and it will keep you warm and this is the idea behind it and just you know not too bulky because I like to have cardigans and things but when they're too bulky sometimes it's not very um, uh, practical you know because you feel like you are restricted in your coat you know your coat feels very tight and it's not that nice so <laughs> here we are this is the back and uh, the rest will follow very very soon so hopefully you will enjoy it uh, and want to make a cardigan just like it and now now that we've discussed this tutorial in progress I will have a future one because I also want to make another little cardigan if you like but for springtime and I've also um, chosen the yarn for it so over here it is a it's a four ply and I think in the USA this would be a number two it's quite thin and it's really nice and I want to make it uh, with that yarn because in the springtime we want something to keep us warm but not over the top warm you know so hopefully you will enjoy that tutorial as well so I'm trying to open it up. There we go. <laughs> so this is like a cone. It is spun into a cone. And there are 400 grams, 2,000 meters. I don't know what that is in yards. I'm sorry. Uh, it's a lot, a lot of yarn. And it is classic gold baby four ply and it can be used for hand and machine knitting that's why it's done in a cone because for those who use knitting machines it's easy for them to use there we are that shows that color because honestly there weren't that many colors in store there was this one and that one's cream then there was white and there was blue, two shades of different blues and there was green and like a light pink now I personally didn't want to wear any of those colors so I chose that one 
And I think one of those, one of those cones should definitely be enough to make like a little cardigan with a short sleeve up maybe to here because some of us ladies don't like to have really short you know sleeves some of us like to have longer sleeves so um, I think that should be enough I'm very excited to have all these designs in my head and and I can't wait to share them with you, see what you think and are you enjoying them ideas and different things oh uh, yeah, this is one thing that I really enjoy doing That's, this is, you know, the main part of this channel, right? okay, I feel I need to mention one small thing which was not written in my list but I am adding to it because for those of you who have seen my product review on the Prim Crochet Hooks, which is here. Which by the way, I still am unsure whether I like them or not. But anyway, I uh, made a conscious effort to um, remember the person who made a comment in the last few hours. <laughs> And I don't remember, so I, I do apologize. But she'll know who she is, right? She made a comment and kind of got me thinking. And I can't believe I never thought of that myself. But she said um, they might do some uh, metal crochet hooks. And I thought, oh, <gasps> this needs investigating. So, I am going to do that this weekend. I don't have time to do this today, but this weekend I'm going to investigate on that because if they have metal hooks, I will definitely be interested. I would love to try those. So, thank you. I forgot your name, but please forgive me. But thank you so much for that comment because now that got me completely, whoo, oh, I need to find out and if they do, I need to get them and definitely try them, yeah. Oh well, yeah, so thank you so much. Okay, so now another two things to mention and I think we'll have to wrap this up for today. Um... I was walking around and shopping last week again and uh, everywhere I go there's everything for Valentine's Day so you know how I feel about Valentine's Day you guys don't you it's a special day for me so I am organizing a very special Valentine's Day giveaway and I have started shopping for that Valentine's Day and hopefully in the next week or so it'll be uh, uh, ready for you and I will do a video and hopefully you will join and um, enter the giveaway and talking of giveaways please don't forget that there is a current giveaway right now <laughs> I'm sorry, I just can't believe how many times I say that word every time. That giveaway word, I just, it's a little bit ridiculous how I overdo it, right? But um, please, if you haven't done so already, check it out. I will try and put a link to it in the description box below. So go ahead, watch it and go and post a comment on that video, not this one the other video because some people will say here in this uh, video comment section thank you for this giveaway good luck everyone but not this one not this one because you will not be entered you have to click on the other video link watch it and like comment and if you haven't done so already you need to be a subscriber and there we are. 
So I think we've discussed everything. Yes, we have. <laughs> there were some crazy moments and some nice moments and tutorial, you know, possibilities and some in progress and what have you and and also a warning about my future giveaway com coming very soon. So hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for joining and watching me. And uh, until the next time, happy knitting and crochet.